Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. Today I've got the gorgeous Summer back in for a full set. And this set turned out so beautiful. So I really wanted to share with you how we created them. So I've already gone in, prepped the nails, added some tips, filed and shaped them and went in with my CJP Acid Bonder. And now I'm going in with glass slippers from Glitter Bells on the pinky to build the nail. The brush that I'm using is of course the Liz Guild brush from CJP. Um, I do just want to quickly say, um, I didn't film the filing for this set. Um, and because I didn't film the filing, because the camera gets in the way, when I applied the colour and the crystals, I did forget to press record but we all know how to apply gel polish so I don't think it's going to be missed I just really really wanted to share this set with you all because they just turned out so so pretty so hopefully it won't annoy anyone too much that I forgot but I do apologize these things happen Moving on to the ring finger, on the ring finger and the middle finger, I'm going to be applying decals. So I am going in and building the nail using snow drops from Glitter Bells. Um, the decals that I'm using are Queen of Decals and I got them from the Glitterati website. And they, whenever you get the decals, they will say on the packaging what base colour needs to be used. Because I'm going to be encapsulating them, I do go in and use white acrylic rather than the white gel polish because I want them to last long, so I'm going to encapsulate them, which I think you've all seen me do before. But I wanted you to see this set. <laughs> I'm absolutely besotted by them. I think they're so pretty. With the white, you don't want to do it too thick because, as I say, you are going to apply the decals and then you will be encapsulating them. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the middle finger and then on the index finger and the thumb. I will go in with the glass slippers again. So I'm going to let you guys watch this because I don't want you to keep hearing my voice rambling on talking absolute crap. <laughs> I just want to quickly apologise for any background noise that you can hear. My husband and my children are downstairs and they are trashing my living room and play fighting. So if you can hear them, I am very sorry. They're living their best life at the minute, so I'm just leaving them to it.
So now that the acrylic's been applied to all of them, I am going to be using these gorgeous unicorn decals. As I said, I got these from Glitterati Nails and they are under Queen of Decals. First, I'm going to go in with my Urban Graffiti base coat from Nail Nails and I'm not going to cure this, so you do not want to cure this. With the decals, you just cut around the one that you want, pop it in water for a couple of minutes and then it does literally slide off the backing paper. And then all I'm going to do is place that on top of the uncured base coat, as you can see here. And what the base coat does is it really like, um, the decal will really cling to that. Um, and you can sort of move it about as well without it setting. So I'm just using my fingers just to pull out any creases. Make sure you don't do it too hard because you might rip the decal which would be very annoying so I'm just going to move it about until I'm happy with it also making sure that I wrap it around the free edge of the nail um, and also the sides of the nail as well and then once I'm happy with that we will go in and cure that for 30 seconds because we're just doing a flash cure um, but I just want to make sure it doesn't move. So I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And then I'll do exactly the same on the middle finger. So on the middle finger, we are going to do exactly the same technique. So again, going in with my base coat, then I will apply the decal to the uncured base coat. This time we're going to be using this really cute one with a little unicorn head on. It's so pretty. Um, as before, place it on to the uncured base coat. Move it around until you're happy with it. Try to get um, the creases out as much as you can. If there's any overhang on the cuticle area, don't worry, because once you encapsulate it and that's set, you will be filing and that will file away. Once I'm happy with this bit, I will then cure under my LED lamp for a full minute, giving it a full cure. If you're using UV, make sure you cure for two minutes. So once they're fully set, we are going to go in and just file off the excess from the side of the free edge and also the free edge itself. Then we're going to go in, remove the dust and encapsulate using clear acrylic. As I said, the clear acrylic that I'm using is the glass slippers from Gitterbells. I cannot speak today. Not Gitterbells, Glitterbells got that Sunday feeling and then when you are encapsulating these you really need to make sure that the whole of the nail um, and the decal are completely matte that way you know you have encapsulated the whole thing make sure as well that you um, get down the sides um, and get on the free edge of the nail because you don't want it peeling so you're just going to go in and encapsulate the whole nail. Then once you are happy and they are fully set, I then went in and filed doing my usual filing routine. And I just used a 100 grit nail file. 
then once I was happy, buffed over with a buffing block. And then I did go in <laughs> and apply two coats of the Madame Glam Angel Wings. It's a beautiful, beautiful baby pink colour. And for each coat I applied, I did cure for one minute. Again, if you're using a UV, you need to do two minutes. So once again, I'm really sorry that I forgot to press record again for the application of the gel polish. <laughs> it's really hard to remember to press record because on my phone, it doesn't let me record the whole shebang from start to finish. Um, It will just stop recording and say maximum reached, blah, 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 blah. So then I have to go back and then I have to press record again each time saving it. And sometimes I just forget. Things happen. We all make mistakes and I probably do it in every video. But it can't be helped, I'm afraid. And I've apologised. So hopefully you can forgive me. Right, I'm just going to let you watch this bit. So as I said, we went in with two coats of Angel Wings from Madame Glam. Then I buffed over the index finger and applied some crystals just to the cuticle area. And now I'm going to go in with my Madame Glam top coat. This is my favourite bit. I love top coating, apart from when a stupid little hair gets in. It's so irritating. Once I have... Um, applied top coat to all of the nails. We then cure this again for one minute. Oh, look at that. I'm obsessed with these nails, absolutely obsessed. Sorry, I'm sidetracking. Cure that for one minute. And then this top coat does have a inhibition layer. So I just went over with some gel residue wipe off solution, wiped off the sticky layer, and then went in with some cuticle oil and that is it so I know I missed out a couple of steps with the gel polish and the filing but I really really wanted you all to see this set don't forget if you're gonna go and buy your decals from Glitterati Nails don't forget to use discount code Jodie and you will receive 5% off their entire website and also with Madame Glam I do have a discount for them as well, which is Jody 30 and you will receive 30% off their website. Sorry, I'm I'm just not with it today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. I really hope you like this set as much as I did. Look how pretty they are. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. See you later. Bye.